Kendall SCD Smart Compression System, your partner in VTE prevention. The Kendall SCD Smart Compression System is an intermittent pneumatic compression, or IPC device, designed to increase venous blood flow in at-risk patients in order to help prevent deep vein thrombosis, also known as DVT, and pulmonary embolism, also known as PE. The Kendall SCD system has been studied in over 90 clinical trials, covering almost all surgical specialties as well as stroke patients. The system works by addressing two of three factors of Verkau's triad. Stasis by increasing blood flow and coagulation changes by stimulating fibronolytic activity. The Kendall SCD system is designed to deliver circumferential, sequential, and gradient compression and utilizes vascular refill detection and patient sensing technology. This unique combination provides the Kendall SCD system with distinct clinical benefits. By compressing circumferentially, the sleeves squeeze 360 degrees around the patient's legs, creating positional independence and collapsing valve cusps where fatal blood clots can form. The sleeves also compress alternately, one leg at a time, to mimic the action and hemodynamic benefits of walking. The sleeve has three separate bladders, which inflate sequentially, beginning at the ankle with a pressure of 45 millimeters of mercury pressure, moving up to the calf at 40 millimeters of mercury pressure, and ending with 30 millimeters of mercury pressure. By compressing sequentially at gradient pressures, the Kendall SCD system maximizes femoral blood flow velocity promotes unidirectional blood flow, and reduces the risk of blood stain trap distally. The Kendall SCD system utilizes a proprietary technology called Vascular Refill Detection, or VRD, which customizes compression cycles for each patient automatically, moving more blood over time. VRD works by measuring the time it takes for a patient's veins to refill with blood after being compressed, and then setting the frequency of compression cycles on the patient's specific venous refill time, anywhere between 20 and 60 seconds. The number is automatically recalculated every 30 minutes. A 2007 study found that the Kendall SCD system with vascular refill detection moved one and a half times more blood per hour compared to a competitive device with fixed uniform compression. In May 2013, a multi-center randomized controlled trial called CLOTS-3 was published in The Lancet. The study showed that immobile acute stroke patients who used the Kendall SCD system in the hospital had a near 30% lower proximal DVT rate and, more significantly, a 14% improvement in survival at six months. The CLOTS-3 study was a multi-center randomized controlled trial set up to evaluate whether intermittent pneumatic compression reduced the risk of deep vein thrombosis in immobile stroke patients admitted to hospital. It was carried out in over 100 UK hospitals and enrolled 2,876 patients. And it showed that patients who received intermittent pneumatic compression had a one-third reduction in the risk of deep vein thrombosis. It also showed that patients treated with intermittent pneumatic compression had an increased likelihood of survival over the first six months. The Kendall SCD system is composed of three separate components, a controller, sleeves, and tubing that is used to connect the controller and the sleeves. The sleeves are available in thigh and knee length sizes. Before applying a sleeve, it's important that you measure the patient to identify the appropriately sized sleeve. For thigh length sleeves, measure the circumference of the patient's thigh at the widest part and then refer to the Kendall SCD system sizing chart to determine the correct sleeve size. To place the thigh length sleeve, first orientate it with the back of the patient's leg then wrap the sleeve around the leg, fastening the Velcro closure tabs. 
make sure to leave approximately two fingers of space between the deflated sleeve and the patient's leg. Ensure the gap in the thigh length sleeve is positioned at the patient's knee to avoid compression at the popliteal area. For knee length sleeves, measure the circumference of the patient's calf at the widest part and then refer to the Kendall SCD system sizing chart to determine the correct sleeve size. To place the knee length sleeve, orientate it with the back of the patient's leg, then wrap the sleeve around the leg fastening the Velcro closure tabs. Make sure to leave approximately two fingers of space between the deflated sleeve and the patient's leg. Once the sleeves have been placed on the patient's legs, you can prepare the controller. Place the controller on the footboard of the patient's bed. Ensure that the device is securely fixed to the bed and that there is adequate airflow to the vents located at the power cord cover and below the tube set connection points. Plug the tubing sets into the back of the controller and then route the tubing towards the patient's limbs, being careful to leave access ways clear and eliminate tripping hazards. Plug the tubes into the sleeves, checking for kinks and ensuring a secure attachment. Plug the controller power cord into a properly grounded socket. If no power supply is available, the controller has a battery that will provide the controller with up to 8 hours of power. The Kendall SCD 700 series controller has a simple, easy to understand interface with 4 buttons and 3 indication spots. Press the power on or standby button to begin operation. If using leg sleeves, no further intervention is required as the controller will automatically detect whether a knee length or thigh length sleeve is being used and then begin to deliver the set pressure pattern of 45, 40, 30 millimeters of mercury pressure. The same one touch startup operation applies when using leg sleeves with the SCD Express controller. If a Kendall SCD Express foot cuff is being used, the user must indicate this during the garment verification procedure at the start of the therapy. During the startup process, the port A and port B leg images will blink to indicate the default garment configuration, which is leg compression. Pressing the A and or B buttons will cause the corresponding port's leg image to shift to a foot image indicating that foot compression is desired. This selection will be confirmed and foot compression will commence once a solid foot icon appears on screen. The Kendall SCD 700 series controller is a compact, lightweight, easy to use, all-in-one controller designed to address functionality and provide convenience. The controller has an adjustable bed hook to make attachment to a patient's bed easier and more secure. A graphical user interface allows for an intuitive operation, including animated error code resolution. An IPX3 rating ensures a more durable device, less prone to liquid ingress, while a reduced noise output is sure to keep nurses and patients happy. The device also has a compliance meter with patient sensing technology, allowing clinicians to track the patient's true wear time. In addition to the Kendall SCD 700 series controller, Cardinal Health also has the Kendall SCD Express controller and two sleeve varieties, the Kendall SCD Comfort Sleeve and the Kendall SCD Express Sleeve. Both controllers are fully compatible with both sleeve varieties, the Kendall SCD 700 series controller can be cleaned with a soft cloth dampened with water or mild detergent. To sanitize the device, apply cleaning agents with a cloth or wipe. Avoid excessive spraying, especially in the areas of the connection ports on the back of the device. 
The tube sets can be cleaned with a soft cloth dampened with water or mild detergent. A full list of approved cleaning agents for the controller and tubing sets are available in the IFU manual. The Kendall SCD Smart Compression System is the most clinically studied IPC device on the market, delivering a unique combination of circumferential, sequential gradient compression with vascular refill detection and patient sensing technology to help reduce the risk of both DVT and PE in at-risk patients. The Kendall SCD Smart Compression System is ideally suited for use with at-risk patients, including stroke patients, in whom the device has been shown to help improve survival.